Hey guys, it's John of Figurative Arc, and we're going to be doing another video tutorial looking at video editing with the free edition of the VSDC video editor. So we have looked at a lot of different components that you can check out all the different features of how to use the editor if you check out my playlist. Today's video we're going to be answering uh, a couple specific questions that were asked on my channel about how do I speed up or slow down a video and how do I do that for the entire video and how do I do it for just part of the video so I'm gonna show you both right now so I've inserted a video file object I'm going to left click on that and I get a properties window right here you'll notice here under speed you can decrease this which would slow it down as you can see it's becoming longer on the timeline as I do that or you can go in the opposite direction and keep going and it keeps getting shorter and shorter and shorter you can increase it up to 800 uh, percent one of the suggestions someone made on my channel is if you want it to go even faster than that what you could do is you could convert this then start a new project add as a add it as a object and then apply this and change it again and you could make it go any faster right so that's how you would do the entire video changing the speed I'm gonna set it back at 100 another question was how do I speed up or slow down just part of the video so let's go ahead and show you how to do that I'm gonna make sure that's selected again I'm gonna go up to the editor tab I'm gonna to go to cutting and splicing so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start playing this and wherever I get to the part of the video that I want to change the tempo I'm gonna stop it and we're just gonna randomly do this here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a marker right there and I'm gonna click on start selection I'm gonna keep playing it I'm gonna stop it there I'm going to add marker and then I'm going to end selection. Now, if you wanted to cut this, you would click on cut region, but we don't want to cut it. What we want to do is we want to splice it and segment the video, but we still want the video, all its parts to still be there. I'm going to click on apply changes. I'm going to make sure that it splits it and I want to make sure that the original this whole entire file is removed so what will appear are the segmented parts and if I click on OK it may take a second and as you can see here it has split up the three different parts so if I want this middle part to go slower I would click on that and then right here you can see that I can adjust the tempo so if I wanted to go slower I would do that now what you have to do is that of course as you notice as soon as you change the tempo it is no longer in sync anymore right because before when you split it it was all going at the same rate so now what you have to do is you're going to have to move I have this little pointer and I kind of move it by I keep holding down on, the, on my mouse and kind of do it like that now that's just eyeballing it I want to make sure that I have it precisely synced up so what I'm going to do here is I've clicked on this and I've kind of noted what time this clip started and how long it is and what I do is I just add these two numbers together and that's gonna tell me where this file should start so I've kinda eyeballed it but 
let's click on it and let's see how close I am. So it should be, if I did my math correctly, uh, should be 19.541. Let me click on that. And it is, wow. So I just like to add those two together and because sometimes if I'm eyeballing it, I may not be exactly correct, but that's showing me that's when that's starting. So now you have this where part of the video tempo has changed. I could have sped it up as well. Um, now, what I've mentioned in previous videos, when I click on preview, uh, it tends to be very jumpy. And I don't know if that's my processor or just the video. As you apply different effects like this, it, it tends to uh, distort and not run smoothly. Once you convert it, however, it will do that. So I'm not gonna go ahead and preview it. So I hope that's helped you show you how to alter the tempo of a video, speed it up, make it slower for the entire video, or to splice it and segment it, then apply it just to one part of the video, and then you just have to make sure that the part that follows it is correctly synced so thanks for watching. If you like videos like this, please consider subscribing and commenting below. You'll also find a number of short films on my channel that I have uh, directed and written. So feel free to check those out. Till next time, take care, and I hope to see you again here soon. Bye.